born in May of 1889 in Sicily, Italy, as either an only child or the fifth of twelve. Franklin Tini was born with three legs, four feet, sixteen fingers, and two sets of genitals. His extra leg sprouted in his right hip, with a fourth foot protruding from his knee. His condition was the result of a second embryo. That began to develop in the womb, but ultimately could not separate from its twin. Thus, one twin came to dominate the other. At four months old, Lentini was taken to a specialist. About the possibility of amputating his additional leg, but the threat of paralysis, or even death, kept the doctor from carrying out the procedure. He became known as Yumeribigyusu, or the Marvel in Corsican, or even more cruelly as Little Monster around his hometown. Lentini's family consequently sent him to live with an aunt to avoid further disgrace. In 1898, at just nine years old, Lentini made the long and arduous journey to America. Along with his father where they met with a man named Gisip Magnano in Boston. A professional showman, Magnano had been in America for three years by the time he met with Lentini about potentially adding him to his shows. It was just one year later in 1899 that Francesco Frank Lentini was listed as one of the top acts in the world-famous Ringling Brothers Circus. Lentini was billed as the three-legged Sicilian. The only three-legged football player in the world, the greatest medical wonder of all time, or sometimes simply just the great Lentini. The young man performed such feats with his third leg as kicking a soccer ball, jumping over a rope, skating, and bicycling. In addition to his athleticism, Lentini was also quick-witted and funny, known for giving interviews while using his extra limb as a stool to lean on. Lentini would answer questions that ranged from the innocently curious to the explicit, whether discussing his hobbies or the particulars of his sex life with an extra leg. The three-legged man was able to give hilarious answers to rather intrusive inquiries. When asked, for instance, if it was difficult to buy shoes in a set of three, Lentini responded that he bought two pairs and gave the extra one to a one-legged friend. He had a charming self-deprecation and was known to joke that he was the only man who didn't need a chair because he could always rely on his third leg as a stool. During his time traveling around the United States, Lentini learned to speak English and was known for his poise, intelligence, and unabashed pride in his deformity. He amassed great fame and fortune. Despite his unconventional career path, Lentini was able to use his charisma to woo a young actress named Teresa Murray. The two were married in 1907 and went on to have four children. Josephine, not Ale, Francesco Jr., and Giacomo. While Lentini and Teresa did eventually separate in 1935, this would not stop the great Lentini from finding love again. And he would go on to spend the rest of his life with a woman named Helen Shoup. Lentini performed in sideshows with the Ringling Brothers Circus and in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. By the time he died of lung failure at 77 in 1966, he had not once stopped touring. In 2016, 50 years after his passing, Lentini's hometown of Rosalini in Sicily celebrated their unconventional hometown hero by way of a two-day memorial festival. The memorial invited any and all of Frank's descendants near and far. While sideshows have fallen by the wayside as America's primary form of entertainment, the public's fascination and even romanticization of the era has never fully left the collective consciousness. The 2017 film The Greatest Showman featured a rotating cast of sideshow characters, all based on real-life performers. Naturally, Francesco Frank Lentini made an appearance played by the actor Jonathan Redovid. The success of Frank Lentini serves to remind us just how amazing and fantastical the fully realized American dream can be. Viewing his parasitic twin as an asset rather than a hindrance is undoubtedly one of just many reasons that Francesco Frank Lentini found success and happiness in America. I've never complained, Lentini said in his later years. I think life is beautiful and I enjoy living it.